Hi guys, in my stream yesterday I was using quite a complicated setup. I was streaming from my RTX machine and I was capturing out the HDMI looping back uh, through NDI through the bird dog because I find when I capture on this on this thing it kind of overheats especially when I'm also streaming and you know I have my my microphone plugged in I was tethered with the camera so I had a, like a loop back thing blah 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 but now and you can see you can see how I can capture the NDI um, output from the bird dog into OBS here but what I didn't know is that you can output NDI from here how do you do that you can just do a screen capture here and then do a filter and then add a dedicated sorry my mouse pointer is going weird add a dedicated NDI output in and call it something I'm calling it uh, so I'll just call it T14S or something So now I can use my MacBook Pro to do the OBS stuff and just, just keep my T14S doing less stuff so I can stream a bit easier. And furthermore, I could probably just do this all wirelessly because what I'm streaming here is just uh, you know my consoles, which don't change that much. So I think I can basically disconnect all this stuff now. Okay, I'm gonna keep my microphone plugged in just for the purposes of this demonstration, but I'll probably keep this wireless microphone plugged in here too and now I can choose the T14S here because the filter is effectively broadcasting my NDI feed over the the the, WAN, the, the Wi-Fi I got my AP right here and look at that guys uh, is that working yeah it's working as you can see how cool is that I don't know how many frames per second and all the rest of it, but now I can basically sit in bed and do a stream, I feel. Because I can just stream it to this MacBook Pro and I, I'm, I can NDI output to this MacBook Pro with the OBS NDI source and get you, and you know, we can, we can uh, suck less from bed. Isn't that awesome? Please like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Ah! <sighs>